everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about resizing pixel trees in the Lightarama sequencer. Sometimes when you purchase or find a sequence with a pixel tree, it doesn't quite match the size of the tree prop in your display. Fortunately, with S5, it's easy to change the prop size after opening a sequence without losing any effects. In this preview, we have a 16 by 25 pixel tree from Lightarama which is eight strings of 50 pixels folded in half. There have been multiple motion effect rows created for this prop in this example, including one for the entire prop, 16 columns so that each strand of 25 can be controlled, four rows so that the tree is divided into four top to bottom sections, and a custom motion effect row with a smiley face. In this quick animation, we'll see effects cycle through all of these types of motion effect rows on the 16 by 25 tree. But what if your tree isn't a 16 by 25? In this first example, we'll change the dimensions of the tree to have 16 strands of 100 pixels with no folds, and we'll also change the shape from a 360 wedge tree to a flat 180. As we watch the animation again, you'll notice that the sequencer automatically resized all of the motion effect rows to fit the dimensions of the new prop. Let's take this one step further. What if you don't have a tree at all, but instead you have a matrix? Still no problem for the software. We can change this prop shape to be a matrix, set the dimensions to be 32 by 50, and the sequencer will once again convert the motion effect rows to fit on the new prop. If you're going to be using the sequence in the preview that came with it, just resize the prop after loading the sequence and you're good to go. If you're planning to copy the sequencing from the original into your own show, try resizing the prop in the original sequence to match your preview, instead of changing your preview to match the new sequence. Remember that when you make changes in a preview, those changes are applied to every sequence that uses it. If there are motion effect rows in the original prop that you don't have in yours, be sure to add those in as well before you copy the effects. All you have to do is open the motion effect row pop-up for the prop, highlight them all, and then press this copy button at the top. Once you're in the prop shape for your preview, find this motion effect row area again and click paste. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.